today we wanted to talk a little bit to Pat. And Pat has been with us for two and a half years. She is 69 years old mm -hmm. and um, she does CrossFit three to five days a week and she's been doing that for the last two and a half years. She just recently did her second competition with us. We did a competition this past weekend, the Deadly Duo Throwdown. It was a partner competition and uh, she just competed and completed the entire event. So I want to kind of talk to Pat and uh, you know, she's, she's had to overcome different limitations. So just want to let her share her experience a little bit with, with some of those limitations. So first off, Pat, you're, you're 69 years old. Yes, that's right. And I enjoy <laughs> every minute of being 69. I tell you the truth, 69 at CrossFit is keeping, keeping me younger. And why do I say it? I sweat good, I eat good, I sleep good, I have a great family here at CrossFit, and I would not go to no other gym. It's become my new life. I had many hardships in my life. And when I came here to CrossFit, they gave me a new life and they taught me how to jump. <laughs> they taught me how to breathe. And best of all, the friendship here at CrossFit um, has given me the extra energy that I need to do competition. Uh, we have great trainers. When we are doing a set or a routine, we're never by ourselves. There is always someone to help us. One trainer, two trainer, three trainers. Um, they will stop you if you're doing something wrong. And then all the training helps you when you do have competition. When they say lock out, you remember all the lessons, especially on Saturday, what it really means. So that is really why I love, I love CrossFit. Cool. So for a new person, some of them like, they come in, they don't necessarily want to compete. Mm -hmm. um, do, you feel like, do you feel like everyone should compete or why, why do you compete? I compete because I want to prove to myself that I can do it. With all the lessons that our trainers give us here at CrossFit, I want to show to them I can do it and also to myself. When I come in here, I don't consider myself Patty Sands at 69. I consider myself Pat, I can do it. When I see a younger person do it, if I can't do it like her, I try to do it half like her. Um, I, anybody who's sitting on the couch watching me now, get up, move, come to CrossFit. Um, it's going to be hard the first couple of weeks, but so what? So is life. But when you come here, you sweat, and you get that beautiful sweat at the end of your nose. You know that you have done CrossFit. And I don't need Botox. I come here and I sweat, and this is my Botox at CrossFit. Nice. We just finished up a workout this morning and Pat said it was a great workout because the sweat was dripping off yes, the nose. Yes, yes. It was a good workout. Awesome. And um, you've also dealt with some injuries as well. You've had a pretty bad knee injury for the last, I think it's been about a year. And um, you know, you still are showing up and doing the workouts, still doing competitions. You know, what's that like? And, and you know, kind of explain that process of how you scale certain things. Well, when I have to do um, a lesson at CrossFit, I always, they always know I always raise my hand. I'll say, I'm sorry, I have trouble with my knee today. What else can you help me? And they would always, always scale it down. The doctor told me I can do CrossFit and I can move, but I have to be careful with different uh, steps that I cannot do. But I don't sit home with my leg up. I, as everybody knows, when you have pain, take the medication if you need it, but you also have to move. If you don't move, then you can't breathe and you can't live. And I don't want to be sitting on the couch. I want to move like everybody else. So when I do have pain, I have my knee pads on, I have a little bit of cream. I have uh, great coaches that will say to me, how are you doing today? I'll say, oh, I have a little bit of pain. Okay, let's scale it down for you. But I'm here. And that with the competition, I can't wait to have the next one, but I need a little bit of rest right now. <laughs> and I want to say, okay, I can do it. But the best part, I remember when I first started CrossFit here, I had to do a burpee and I could not get up. All the trainers and all the new people that we start our seven o'clock uh, class with, they all start clapping for me. And I said, where in God's name can you, will anybody clap for you at seven o'clock in the morning? And guess what? They're still clapping for me. <laughs> still clapping for you. 
Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Pat. We really appreciate having you. Thank you, and I enjoy CrossFit. Come, come join our <laughs> class at 7 o'clock.